All right, guys, we're gonna get this thing set up. I'll probably fast forward through this then anyway. All right, guys, we're running out of light quick. Let me get my uh, pop-up canopy set up here. Not sure where I'm gonna put this thing. Another thing I brought today, guys, brought my wood stove. This thing's a couple years old. It served me well. Let me set this up then. I'll sit it right here for now. All right, guys, we're back. I'm gonna get this fire going. It is dark, it's getting late. We're pretty much set up, but I had to go get my own firewood, which was a bummer, because now the back of my truck is filthy. Can't camp without fire, man. I might have a little bit of wood, but it ain't enough. I paid for four bundles. Plus, I brought some of my own. But we're gonna let this get going. Throw some wood on here. Yeah, we're gonna throw a couple sticks of fat wood in here, too. And some cardboard. I think some of this wood's wet. That's all right. We'll get her going. Baby girl's right here. Yeah, this stuff feels mighty wet. All right, let's see how that does. As you can see, I got the fire going. There's the baby girl. Got the wood stove here. I'll tell you what, we're doing that in a minute. Here's camp. Got my canopy up. Cooler's out, pop-ups up. Let me walk you over here real quick. Yeah, there you go. I'll bring you in here later. Let's set up. I got a little heater going. That's a new heater. I'll tell you about it then. There's the box. Ozark Trail. Just learned about it the other day. Didn't even know it existed. But this fire's going. Going good. What we're going to do here is I'm going to cook dinner on this wood stove. So we got to get this fired up. All right. So I don't have a lot of kindling. So I'm going to use these tumbleweeds. I already set them in here. Some fat wood. A little piece of uh, fire starter. Yes, I know, I'm gonna have two fires going, that's all right. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I'm heating up the pop-up, but I mean, I know I got the door open. I'm just, I'm just burning that heater off because it is brand new, it's the first time it's uh, been lit. So we'll see what it does. Yeah, this is my hot tent wood stove. I just have that lit off right now so it gets a nice amount of air to get going because uh, I need this to get hot now. This hasn't been burned in a long time. Coming up on two years. It's a winter well nomad. It does have a glass window over here. Yeah, so it's it's a cool wood stove. It's it's the large, so you can heat a big tent with this thing. I was heating that 20 foot 20 foot diameter bell tent with this. And it it was enough, man. Uh, we're gonna leave this. I'm not worried about smoke because I'm not in a tent. What are you doing, sweet pea? I still gotta feed the baby girl. Oh well, we're gonna be up for a while. All right, everybody, we're going to feed the baby girl real quick, then I'm going to get that food going. Well, we got is another, uh, want more goodness, beef stew. We're just going to go ahead and give her this whole can. Let's dump this all in here for the baby girl. I got to get moving here. There was so much involved in setting up tonight. And then I had to, I had to close everything up and throw the baby girl in the truck and go get my firewood, man. Which is not a big deal, you know, whatever. I just didn't know. I, I guess he wasn't home. He wasn't messaging me back or nothing. Let's stir this up in here for her. This is a lot of food, sweetie. Do you want to eat inside the camper? Huh? Where it's nice and warm? Huh, baby girl? She's going to have a nice full belly after this. Look at baby girl. I know. There's not a lot of room here, right? Come here, baby girl. There you go. Get your food. There you go. Let me get out of the way. This ain't the biggest camper in the world, you know what I'm saying, guys? Boy, that heater is noisy, though. Like the pilot light, the buddy's nice and quiet. There, look, check it out. I closed the door for a little bit to try to warm it up in here. I got the tripod in huge mode. Baby girl, there she is, guys. Can you see her? She's enjoying that food in the, in the comfort of the camper. Let me move this over. This is the Ozark Trail portable camping heater, 10,000 BTU. It's like a knockoff of the buddy heater. I seen this on a channel maybe a week ago. Um, 
What's the guy's name? Adventures with Spackman. He does all kinds of different reviews and stuff. And uh, I didn't know this thing existed till then. It's only 50 bucks, $49. I picked this up the other day. And uh, we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a go. It's very noisy though. I don't like that. I mean, I don't care as long as it's it works. All right, let's get back out here. All right, guys, we're gonna cook dinner. We're gonna be cooking in cast iron over the uh, on top of the wood stove. We're gonna go ahead and throw this over onto the fire. I think you can see it. Let this start heating up. We got some uh, Johnsonville hot Italian sausage. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and dump a little olive oil into this pan. Cut this open, slice with my little K-bar knife. Never really use this much. It's more of a self-defense weapon than anything. I wouldn't want to get stuck with this thing, I'll tell you that. All right, let's throw these bad boys on. I don't hear any sizzling yet. Pan's probably not hot. Oh, there's a little. I want this burning. I'm obviously not going to eat all these. I'll take it home tomorrow. Maybe Pam will want some. Maybe she won't. I don't know. She did like the chili, guys. We ate that for a few days, man. <laughs> it was pretty good. Can you hear that sizzle? That baby girl. What else is new? Wherever there's food, there's, there's the puppy. Right, honey buns? She just finished up enjoying her food. She probably lay down and take a little nappy. Right, honey buns? All right, buddy. I'm gonna add in the onions and peppers. These gotta get done, too. Oh, God, that smells fantastic. I'm also gonna make some onion rings to go with this. Ooh, that's a little hot. I'm gonna get this on here at least a little. I'm not super concerned about the onion rings, honestly. I'll just throw them in a Tupperware container and take them home. This is going to be a mess. Jeez. Oh well. I got too many hands in the fire here. This should really be baked. Yeah, they're just falling apart. I don't know. This thing's ripping over here. Now. Yeah, I mean, these are done. 100%. Well... Sometimes you take on too much at once. And that's what that's what Bill just did. Hey, whatever. We're camping, guys. It's not a big deal. I just don't want to burn the crap out of my food, man. All right. All right, guys. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump some sauce in here. It's some uh, ragu. Super chunky mushroom sauce. I'm not going to use the whole thing, I don't think. That's probably way too much. Oh, yeah. I think we can start simmering this down. Whew. That's crazy hot. Oh, yeah, mama. Looks good, though, huh? It's probably going to be a freaking mess. I got to keep it on them freaking onion rings. Ooh, smoke is killing me, though. These are a mess. I'll still eat it, though. Oh, God. Pieces of battered onion. Really, all it is. I think it's done. Let's leave that off the fire for now. It's, it, everything was just, I thought this was gonna be a simple meal, but man, I was wrong. Only because I just didn't have the room on this wood stove to cook everything. That was really the problem. This is a mess. <laughs> Don't do this at home. Look that fire stoke up. This is some toasty stuff here. All right, guys, this is just about ready. I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here, and then I will get back to you. Somebody's coming. Get back to you when I'm ready to plate this up. All right, guys. Well, that was a bit of a cluster. <laughs> the property owner came by to apologize for not being here, and I'm like, oh, no problem. Sierra knocked all that over with her leash. This is the problem with the leash. Not, not that it's her fault, but... Once he started up his little golf cart and took off, that was it. She she bolted. So she's in the camper right now so I could clean up this mess. Anyway, I took the food off. It's all sitting over here by the fire. This got a little overcooked because I was sitting there talking with the guy for about 10 minutes. But anyway, it's going to all be good. So, All right, everybody, we're back. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't look so fantastic, but it is what it is. 
we're gonna go ahead and throw one of these in this bun I know I had two buns on there but I just I'm not gonna be able to eat two buns or two sausages it's just not this doesn't look good at all <laughs> it's crispy man it was just too much dang it I think it'll still be good though honestly I did get a little Parmesan cheese to put on there it's not gonna melt this is a this is an ice cold camp meal these onion rings look at them they're just like onion battered pieces but we'll eat it anyway because it's gonna be good either way I don't mind it I'm not being picky I'm out camping and I'm having a good time so yeah that's probably enough I'm not gonna be able to eat all that that's a lot so anyway there you go cooked on the wood stove the wood stove's still going I think you can see it I'll bring you guys back I'm gonna sit over there by the wood stove and uh eat this food and we're gonna have a moose head lager shout out to all my friends in Canada Canada all right I'll bring you back in a couple seconds all right everybody we're gonna have some food you know it's not gonna be the greatest I'm gonna try these onion rings or I should say these nuked onions it's good though yeah I mean you know it tastes the same it's just all doesn't look like onion rings man that dude stopping by really kind of messed up my rhythm Sierra Sierra got all worked up when he started up his golf cart knocked everything over not my food though thank god I have my food on the table but the downside of that is my food was on the stove and it got overdone but it's whatever this is still pretty good mm. oh you should feel the heat off of this thing got the fire over here wood behind me this wood stove this thing's cherry red I got it stoked up so you guys can see it burn yeah see it's a nice wood stove I'm gonna damp that down a little bit that thing's ripping cherry red we gotta get a hot tent so we can take this thing out mm. moosehead lager guys cheers <sighs> all right let's try the sandwich it doesn't look that good I'll be honest with you guys it's all bread I guess I got a big enough mass, I got a little piece of sausage. Let's see how hot it is. Mm, I didn't get much of it in my mouth. It, it was mostly a bite of bread. Let me get another two bites. You can't have this. Mm. I just threw a piece of the end of the bun. It's just bread. Mm. All right, we should get some sausage in this bite. And some onion pepper and crushed red pepper. Mm. Burr. It's a little crunchy. <laughs> Share back. Hey, hey, back. Get back. No. Ooh. Falling apart on me. Yeah, got a little, a little heat to it. Mmm. The roll is a hard roll. That I'm not thrilled about. Mmm. I think it actually tastes really good. What would have been the bomb here is uh, those mare's, mare's uh, hoagie buns. What the hell is that? Really? What is it? It's like part of my sleeping bag or something. I 
and I got shit in my pants. What the fuck is going on here? Did that burn my coat? Oh my god, I did. On the fucking stove. Holy god, you just burnt my new, brand new coat. There's forty dollars down the fucking drain. Son of a gun. Ah. <laughs> I'm not gonna dwell on it, but man, look at that. Did I touch it or what? I don't think I did. Son of a gun. Anyway, I have another coat. Mmm. It's very good. It's not that hot. I'll be honest. It just tastes like spicy hot Italian sauces. But it's good when I was very hungry. I burnt my brand new coat. That sucks. I don't know what the hell happened. What's this now? I'm burning up here. Is he ripped here? It is. Alright. Whew. That is a little heat. It, it does have a little heat. I'm getting some of that crushed red pepper, I think. Man, I am not happy here. Look at this. This just keep the stuff just look at this. The stuff just keeps getting all over me. What the How did this even happen? I, I didn't touch it. Am I that close to this thing? I don't get it. I might as well throw this thing in a fire and burn it up. Ugh. I just, I, I just, I hate to lose stuff, man. You know, I don't even know how, what we're going on. It's just coming out. It's just coming out, guys. <laughs> I don't even know what the F is going on here. I got to get this coat off because it's driving me nuts. Every time I turn around, it's on my knee. It just took my pants. Oh, somehow I got salt. Look at, look at, look at. See, I was going to eat that. I, and I don't want her to do that. Mm. It's very good. All right, everybody. Let me go take care of this mess. And I'll get back to you when I finish this food. All right. Catch you later. All right, everybody. Welcome back. Dinner was good. You know, it didn't come out perfect. But nonetheless, it was still good. So, I've been chilling out by this fire. Moved the wood stove over here. I'm, I'm sitting in between the fire. In between the wood stove. I got heat coming from both directions. Last time I checked the thermometer inside the, the camper, it was 29 degrees outside. It wasn't supposed to go down that low. That might have just been a fluke. Uh, it's supposed to be like a low of 32. So, anyway. Um, I think what we're going to do now is give Sierra a treat. So, give me, give me a couple of minutes here. I'm going to go in the truck, grab a treat, and I'll bring you back then. All right, guys. I'm back. I got a little treat here. Sierra. Sit. No, no. Sit. Sit. High five. High five. Good girl. There you go, baby. There you go. Go ahead. Eat your treat. She's going to chill maybe right there, it looks like. There we go. Just need a little kick in the butt. Cheers, guys. Wood stove, campfire. Um, we got to get a hot tent. Ah, uh, yeah. That Ozark Trail, every time I go in there, it keeps shutting off. And I don't know why. I got a carbon monoxide detector in there. Ooh, man, it's blowing on me. Um, and it's reading zero. I don't understand why that thing keeps shutting off. So, 
don't run out and buy that thing just yet. Maybe spend the extra couple bucks and get the buddy heater. I mean, my buddy heater is like, man, that thing is so old. Me and my wife bought that for my dad. Bought that for my dad back in, man, I don't even know when, 2007, something like that. You know, we bought that for my dad. My dad used it for years, and then in 2015, my dad passed away from cancer. Ooh, sorry about the smoke, guys. And, uh, you know, when my mom was cleaning out the house and my mom had to move and stuff, and uh, she asked me if I wanted it back, and I said, yeah, sure, I'll take it. So I took that back, and, uh, you know, so that buddy heater's like, I mean, it's creeping up on 20 years old, but it still works. This thing, this is like the fourth time I've gone in there, and it's been shut off on me. I turn it, and it turns, it's not out of propane. It turns right back on. So I understand what's going on with it. So I might grab my buddy heater and put it in there because I don't know I could trust this thing to run all night. I ain't gonna run all night, but at least run through a tank, right? So I don't know. I'm getting ass all over me. Man, I, man, I burnt my new coat. Oh, this thing. This wusso is pretty sweet, huh, though? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that thing. God, I hope I kept the receipt because I might return that. I was going to throw that box in the fire, but I'm probably not going to do it now. Because I might end up taking that heater back. It, it, it just shuts off. It don't even go through a, pro, a full tank of propane and it shuts off. Uh, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for, guys. You know, I, I like a good deal as much as the next guy. But sometimes, you know, cheaper ain't better. Anywho. Enough about that heater. I do have the buddy in the back of, in the in the back of my truck. I'm not that worried about it though. I got my sleeping bags and be plenty warm. I got baby girl to snuggle up with there. So we'll be good to go. She's enjoying her treat. I'm enjoying these this double fire situation. Nice peaceful night out tonight, guys. You can see every star in the sky. It is just gorgeous. Really nice day today. Got up in the 50s. I took the day off of work, you know, so I go camping. It's too hard to go camping all the time on weekends. You know, I had a bunch of vacation days to burn up, so you know what? Starting back in October, like the middle of October, I took every Friday for the rest of the year, <laughs> which some people at work were pissed, but hey, whatever, get over it, man. They're my vacation days. I earned them. I put my time in that place. And, uh, you know, I, I, I staggered them because, you know, you got Thanksgiving in there. Now, next Friday, I'm off again because it's going to be Christmas. So, yeah, I've only worked. I've only worked two Fridays since October, which has been sweet. This buddy heater has been running for, you know, over an hour. It's 64.4 degrees in here, 39 degrees outside. It just works. This heater, it looks good, but this one don't work. I'm gonna return and get another one and see, and see what happens. But yeah, we're in the pop-up. There's the bed. Baby girl was laying up on there for a while. It's comfy. I'm storing all my gear over here. All my bags and my cooler and oh, I got some sodas there and I'll turn you around. Fan. That's just for light. Got this fan up here, mounted up here. Just hooked up into that pole. Just to blow the heat around. You should get a good view. Just better. I mean, I can't see. That's the problem with the GoPro. Is uh that front screen is very small, but I'm assuming you, you got a pretty good view. Um, this might be washing it out though a little bit. Turn that light out. This thing's been running for over an hour. Um, zero, zero in the carbon. This is brand new, brand new. Brand new batteries, zero readings on the carbon dioxide detector. Or some other YouTubers like to call it a CO2 detector. Yeah. Um, Anyway, we won't go there and we won't name names. <laughs> Anywho, um, we're going to get to bed. 
We'll get back with you guys in the morning. We're gonna we're gonna hit the sack. We're gonna sleep in luxury tonight, guys. I'm gonna take these boots off. I, yeah, had these on all day. Good night. Come here. Well, good morning, everybody. It's the next day. Wow, what a nice night. What a comfortable sleep. It's late. Late in the morning, anyway. It's. I mean, I've been up for a half an hour. I got up a little before 10. It's almost 10.30. So, what I'm going to do is make a quick cup of coffee. And, uh, man, it's nice outside, guys. This thing is saying... That's just 69 degrees. It's sitting in the sun. I mean, I just went out to my truck to grab my creamer, and it's really nice out, just in a t-shirt. Strange. It says it's uh, 70 in here. I woke up, it was like 80. 80, 81, something like that. Get to pull in some water. I still haven't, uh, I haven't gotten my propane hooked up to this uh, trailer yet. It's gonna need a new regulator or something on it. New connection. This is this thing is so old that that old school connection won't connect to the newer tanks. Yeah, baby girl was out, did her business. I cleaned up most of my stuff last night. I got a bunch of crap sitting over there on that that bed. But uh, yeah, that that's a shame for that Ozark Trail heater. I think that thing's a bust. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I'll return it and get a different one. Try it out. But, nah. The buddy heater ran all night. No problems. No, uh, no carbon monoxide. No nothing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That, that Ozark Trail kept shutting off on me. All right, guys. I think it's about ready to boil. We're just doing some instant here because I got to get out of here. Oh, one came right out. Yeah, that's plenty hot enough for coffee. I'm going to cool down a little bit. Oh, it's hot. Jesus. Oh, whew, that's hot, baby girl. Oh, mama. It still says 69 degrees outside. That's crazy. I mean, it's nice. Blue skies. It really would be another perfect day to camp. But it'd also be another 50 bucks, another $25 in wood. So it'd be, you know, it'd be another 100 bucks till it's all said and done. I have to go to the store, grab some food. That's the downside. Now I know why everybody stealth camps and does all that stuff because it's free. It's basically free. You know, but I'm not into that. More power to them. Worrying about getting busted. I may do it someday down the road. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to have to camp somewhere and then hide. I don't have this. Uh, I don't have this need for the feeling to get caught. I've been trying to avoid getting caught all my life. <laughs> anyway, who cares? I want to be able to do just like what you saw last night. Set up. I want. I want a nice setup, man. I want to. You know, I want to sit out, enjoy myself, have lights on, have fires going. Last night I had a wood stove going, a campfire going, canopy with lanterns all around it. A puppy, right? A puppy. You got eye boogies, man. You and your eye boogers, baby girl. Jeez. What is that? Oh, it's gross. It's gross, baby girl. I know. I do that all the time to you, but I can't stand seeing a big chunk hanging off her eyeball. She slept like a baby in here last night. She slept up here with me all night. She got up a little earlier in the morning, went down, grabbed herself a drink of water, and hopped right back up on the bed. <sighs> I almost want to take this everywhere, guys, because it's like having a little, a little apartment with you. Ah, it's a little cooler. Yeah, so comfortable compared to the back of the truck. Back of the truck's easier though, so you know, there's there's pros and cons. Anyway, everybody, I'll get back to you after I finish this coffee. All right, good morning, cheers. Catch you soon. Yeah, as you can see, I got everything pretty much wrapped up. This thing collapses in a matter of a minute or two. Pretty simple setup. It's gorgeous out here, guys. Seriously, it feels like freaking spring. No, don't jump on me. Don't jump on me. No, no jumping. No jumping. 
Sierra, get down. Hey, down. Stop that. No. I don't like jumping. Stop. No better. Anyway, guys, I'm going to start packing this up, and uh, I'll get back to you when we roll out of here. All right, catch you then. All right, everybody, we're all packed up. We're ready to pull out of here. I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Let's go, baby girl. Oops, almost forgot my camera.